get a lot of text from the audience about who's got the nice shirt on today. And it seems to be hand down that hands down that I do. But anyway, so <laughs> I don't understand the, the population increase numbers from 1,070 to 3401 in five, four years. I mean, and is that a, th a million seventy, or how do you get to that number? Uh, thank you. So, uh, so this, these these numbers are in. So this would be, for example, one thousand fifty five. So it's not not millions. Um, and we're only going to gain two twenty four hundred jobs in in five years. I'm trying to understand what that means as far as. Help me. Sure. Uh, so, 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 the reason, so just stepping back for a second, the reason that we're seeing an increase in the population is because of, of the lower tax environment. So now, you know, a dollar, a dollar of, of, of your wages, for example, goes farther. And so it's more, it becomes more attractive to move to Arkansas. And so that's why you're going to see people moving into the state. Um, and do we want some of those weird people living in the state? Hey, uh, we'll pose that question later. <laughs> I, I still help, just help you understand the number. How do you get? Where does the thousand seventy come? There's three million of us. Where does the thousand seventy come from? Uh, uh, in this thing, and then, two, so how how do I relate the thousand seventy to the three million that we have now? Okay. I, I, that's what I can't understand. Sure. Um, I mean, so just to, to speak a little bit technically for a second. Uh, so, so the way that the model looks at, looks at this is there, there are several factors that can induce people to come into the state. For example, in this case, it's mostly going to be, well, part of it is going to be uh, there's, there's um, you know, lower jobs and more disposable income. Yeah, exactly. There's more disposable income. Um, so it's, you know, you're in a lower tax environment. There's also going to be the fact that in, like, as people come in, as, as jobs come in, there are going to be more job opportunities, and that's also going to be attractive for population. And so we, in, in, in the modeling framework, we, you know, using, using historical data, we say, you know, how sensitive is, uh, is, is population migration to these different factors? Uh, and so uh, in this case, uh, we see um, both, both, of, both, of those, both of those main two factors are at play, uh, and so they're going to be driving the population. So I don't know. I don't know exactly how to speak to the, the particular numbers. You know, certainly um, there. Well, is that representative of? I, I'm just trying to understand what a thousand seventy to thirty four hundred one represents as far as real numbers in Arkansas. I, I, I can't get my head around how I apply that to the three million or, or whatever. Uh, so is it? Simply keep and you know we have a natural growth in Arkansas to two or three percent right. anyway. Uh, this is in addition to that for what, what they're saying. I understand that, but I don't understand the thousand seventy. I don't understand twenty thirty four hundred. What those means in terms of the real numbers of Arkansas? I, I, well, that's their calculation of, of the growth that we'll have through dynamic scoring. If, if the governor's proposal. I understand that, but I don't understand what it means in real numbers. How, how do you get from yeah. those numbers to real numbers? Are we going to gain 50,000 people? Are we going to? That's what I'm trying to understand. It's what it means in real numbers, not. And maybe, maybe I'm just, maybe it doesn't matter, but I, I, it seems to me that we need to know that we're going to gain. Well, our natural growth will be greater than this growth. Let me do, I, I, let me see if I understand this, because I think Senator T does a good job of confusing us all. But <laughs> that is my hope, so. uh, <laughs> This is 1,070 real people that you're saying are going to move into Arkansas as a result of this policy change. That's not scaled or correlated, that is 1,070 okay. people and up to 3,400 in 2023 just as a result of this okay. policy change. I couldn't get my head around that. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Finally, you shed light into the darkness. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator. Representative Dobson, you're recognized. 